Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your fancy blonde, fancy dress. charity gala right here in East Hampton at the home of Bruce T. Sloan. And I'm here with this very fascinating individual who is who is a big supporter of Live Out Loud. Introduce yourself to the camera. Uh, yes, hi, I'm Farrah Krennic, and I wish to thank everyone for inviting me on such a beautiful occasion and a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you. It's a privilege. Tell my audience what your story is and how you got involved with Live Out Loud. Well, I've always uh, tried to be very involved in anything that has to do with the LGBT community. I am an actress. I've been working as a full-time actress for the past uh, 10 years. And um, I can tell you that in my journey of acting, uh, the number one role, the number one set that taught me the most about um, different types of women, different ethnicities, cultures, backgrounds, stories, uh, was from Orange is the New Black, uh, which was actually my most prominent role. Right, now, you are in that series, Orange is the New Black. Yes, yeah, since day one. Since day one. I had the privilege of being with them since day one. Um, and uh, I, I watched the series grow, and I think it was because of the love, the dedication, and uh, pouring my entire self into this character, um, that uh, the show came to be what it was. Every every woman that worked on the show, everybody gave their part, everybody gave a part of their soul, and that's what brought everything to life. Well, it's a terrific show. It's getting such critical acclaim. Yes, um, I think it's also because of the fact that um, everybody can identify with a character. It's not just one person. It's not just every everybody that sees the show says, oh, I'm like her, or I understand her, she's like me. And once you can do that, that's, um, th that means a lot because you actually live these moments with the character. Absolutely. Well, thank you for supporting Live Out Loud. Oh, that's yes. what we want. Always. Um, and uh, not just uh, Live Out Loud, anything that has to do with our community in regards of charities, in regards of mentoring, in regards of helping. I think um, that if you can help one person, I call it a good day. Because tomorrow's another day, so we can rock on with that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Can we follow you? Can we find you somewhere? Oh, I yes, mean, do you have a Facebook page? I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell my audience, spell your full name. Uh, um, first name spelled Farrah, like Farrah Fawcett, F-A-R-R-A-H. Uh, last name spelled K-R-E-N as in Nancy E-K. And that's how we can find you on Facebook. I don't have any of those fancy glitter in the sky no. keywords. <laughs> I don't like them. You know, that's how people can't find you that way. That's a little bit too girly for me. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I think it's right that you do what you did. And, and thanks for supporting. And good luck to you, as we say in show business, break a leg. I'll break two. Show business, <laughs> break two legs. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Farrah, for, for the wonderful interview. Thank you. Don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, dogs. More interviews in the Hamptons. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses.
April Elaine, and we're here at the Live Out Loud 7th Annual Charity Gala. And I'm here with this wonderful individual who he just graduated, and he's part of the whole idea behind what Live Out Loud is really all about. Introduce yourself to the camera. So my name is Brian Williams. I, um, I won the Live Out Loud Scholarship in 2012. Um, I'm a student at the Fashion Institute of Technology. How wonderful. It's a great place. I enjoy it. Tell my audience your story, how you became involved with Live Out Loud, and how you won the scholarship. So back in high school, um, I came out when I was 16. And the second I came out, I knew I wanted to get involved, and I knew I wanted to be part of the community. So I joined my high school's Gay Straight Alliance. I joined some LGBT centers around Long Island, where I'm from. And where are you from, Dawn? Lindenhurst. Oh, yeah. that's where Long Island Exchange is, Lindenhurst. Oh, really? Yes, that's oh, where all wow. publication is, Lindenhurst. I didn't know that. Wow. So I joined the GSA, and I really, really got involved. And um, just started working really hard to make my community a better place and I focused more on my school. I wanted to make sure everybody in my school was comfortable. So from there, my, my how I got to live out loud, uh, the founder of our GSA won the Live Out Loud scholarship a few years before I did. So he introduced me to Live Out Loud and the connection was just fluid and I really enjoyed the organization. So I, I applied for the scholarship and I fortunately won. And, I, and I've stayed involved with the organization ever since. It, it means so much to me what they do. I see that. So you know you went, you're going to FIT. Yes, that's correct. What are you studying? I'm studying fashion merchandising management. And I'm, I'm going to see you at Fashion Week. I hope so. Maybe, yeah. I hope I'll to be there. I'll be there. One day. I'll be there. It's, fa it's very it thrilling. I've been there a few times, just in the audience. It's it's a really amazing, exhilarating experience. Yes, exhilarating is an understatement. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It certainly is. Well, that's just wonderful. I'm so happy to hear your story and to give confidence to other teens like yourself that are struggling with being gay or transgender. It's difficult. You know, I've had my difficulties. Um, Was your fa how, how did your family react? At first, my family, they, they didn't react how I expected them to. Really? Yes. I, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to come out to them. I was asked. So it wasn't really under my terms. It was more, you know, my, my parents questioned me about it. And I think it took them into sh in shock. I wasn't, nobody knew I was gay. You know, I, in, in high school, I wasn't what you would think of as gay. I was a jock. I was in uh, a lot of different sports, different clubs. And so even my school. Just like, just like uh Chris, uh, just like Bruce Jenner. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. nobody had an idea. Bruce Jenner's not gay. That's the yeah, thing. He's a straight woman. You, isn't that wild? Yeah. So wild. But it's an amazing. It's it's such a great uh, addition to the community because we need someone who has been a role model I'd for like so many. To see him here next year. I know. Let's get Caitlin here. Let's get Caitlin here. <laughs> So your family, rea your, their reaction was... Right, so at first their reaction was not what I expected, not what I hoped for, but... But they did come around. Yes, and as time went on, you know, we went to um, different counseling centers, some LGBT counseling centers. Um, I think my parents knew this wasn't something that was going to change for me, that they had to change, so they had to start accepting it. You, was your mother more surprised or was your father more surprised? My mother was more surprised. Are you kidding me? Really? Yep. Um, Mothers usually know. 
I your guess mother. he's good at hiding. <laughs> But they've come around. They love me for who I am. Uh, one of some of my favorite moments that my parents are very subtle about it. But some of my favorite moments when I was looking at colleges, my dad handed me a book and he was like, "Here, I read this," and it was the top 100 LGBT affirming colleges, which was amazing. And it was his subtle way of, of, accepting. of accepting without fully saying it, which. I guess at that point you have to take everything you can get and like something like that it shows that they're trying and I know it's it's hard for everybody it's hard for certain people but my what parents have come around so much you have a lot on your saw you have a lot on your saw look at the law that was just passed I know so that's I texted I texted my parents when the law was passed and this is funny this shows how they are now and I I said to my mom and my dad I was I said I can now get married in all 50 states and my mom replied back replied back looks like you're going to be busy <laughs> so yeah. it just shows her progress that she can now joke you're still, as yes, you're still going to have prejudice no matter yes. what people will be prejudiced no matter what look they freed the slaves over 100 years ago they're still prejudiced right. but but we really conquered a milestone and that is an amazing thing and really just be who you are and true to yourself and that's what all that matters is one thing that really got me through was having a role model. Who's your role model? Uh, Leo? Leo is one of them. I have, see that's the thing, I have many role models and it's not just about having one, the old dean from my high school, her and her wife. Um, the, the guy who founded, Matt Cotty, founded the GSA of my high school. We're still friends now. He's one of my role models. Um, my parents, friends, Leo, Bruce, everybody that's involved with Live Out Loud, they're all my role models because they're doing something to change the world. Well, I can't wait to see what you're going to do in fashion. Thank you. Okay. We'll see. Yes. Maybe you'll be interviewing me again. Uh, uh, um, maybe you'll be a designer at Fashion Week in about a I'm couple of this. years. I don't know. You might do the fact. You might style the clothes. Maybe. You never know. You never know. Tell my audience where we could go to contribute, to support, and donate. What is the website? So you can head to www.liveoutloud.info. Uh, we have the Pride in the Hamptons event. We have our gala in the city, which is always an amazing time. Both events are near and dear to me. Um, and you can go on there. You can email Leo at Live Out Loud, any of the Live Out Loud um, employees, and they'll be able to give you more information. So. Now don't go away yet. We'll be back in a moment, darling. More interviews coming up. Keep watching from Champagne Kisses. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.